To buy or not to buy, that is the question. Today we are going to be looking at Lightblade VR, a game based on lightsaber training from Star Wars. The game itself is $3.99 and supports room scale only. So let's get started with the good. Obviously the best part about this game is being able to wield lightsabers, I mean light blades themselves. The weapons have a really nice effect when touching each other and when touching the ground it creates a cutting effect effect which looks pretty damn neat and gives that feeling of wielding a laser based sword. You are able to unlock several different colors for the light blades along with different hilts. A fan of Star Wars will be able to step into the shoes of a training Jedi and fight off the lasers like a pro. Sadly this aspect brings us to the not so good things about this game. The light blades themselves have a huge blocking area. You can literally hold them in front of you and block all the shots without ever actually moving. To be fair, you don't have to do this. You can actually block the shots like you're supposed to, but it is still fairly easy to figure out once you realize that the blocking area is actually as big as it is. Currently, it only has one level that isn't that impressive. The dev is working on a new level, but I don't think any release date has been issued for it. The AI of the drone itself is pretty simplistic. The drone always stays in front of you. This is kind of disappointing since the game has failed to use the full 360 degrees that the Vive actually offers. With only a single drone to block lasers from, the gameplay becomes very repetitive. As I was playing, I really just wanted to hit something else with the damn lightsabers. You get about an hour of gameplay that is mostly block the shots until the end when you have to block or bounce the shots back at the drones, which is kind of cool, but it becomes really freaking annoying. There is also one of the levels you have to dodge the shots, which is extremely easy. All you have to do is step left or right. The game, honestly, at this point, really just feels like a tech demo instead of a full game. Well guys, it is definitely time to ask that question, to buy or not to buy. Currently there just isn't enough content to make this a game I will continuously play. I've actually only played it twice now, however if the developer works on the game further and adds some content it could become a really good game. If you are a huge fan of Star Wars and have always wanted to wield lightsabers, I'd say pick up this game. But if you aren't, you should probably wait for more content or just pass on it all together. Remember, these are solely my opinions, and if you buy a game that I recommend and don't like it, Steam still does offer a refund. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.